Hey, welcome to my channel. Today we are in Nevada, in the middle of nowhere, with a group of friends camping, boondocking, having fun. But I want to show you something new that I just installed in my trailer. So stay with me. So a little background. Uh, this is 2022 uh, North Trail 24 BHS, and it came with 50 watt uh, solar panel from Renogy, Renogy Wanderer. A solar charger controller and two lead acid batteries with combined 184 amp hours and it wasn't enough uh, for this trailer we came across uh, problems a couple times uh, we ran out of power twice uh, while boondocking and uh, our heater didn't turn on and so on so on because when lead acid batteries are drained then they don't provide uh, 12 volts you know they they might be still 50 percent charge but they'll be providing 10 volts 11 something like that so i need to do some upgrades and i did i did my research uh, i pre-planned everything uh, i came across uh renogy in my research uh, and you know i was reading opinions about renogy i was watching videos on youtube reading forums uh, and came to conclusion that renogy uh, in my opinion has pretty good price to quality uh, value, I would say. Uh, and I decided to go with Renogy for most of my system. Uh, I was buying it, you know, in stages. First, I bought two 100 watt uh, solar panels on Black Friday. Then I decided I want 400 uh, watts of solar power. So I bought two more uh, solar panels. Then when I was ready to buy battery and some other stuff, I found out that Renogy is actually uh, cooperating with uh, YouTubers, influencers, uh, wrote them an email and they agreed to send me a couple of their items. So let's take a quick look at the entire system here. The core of it is 300 amp hour mini core Reno G uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, why is it better than lead acid? Well, first of all, it's smaller than similar amp hour uh, lead acid batteries. It's lighter and most importantly, uh, it can discharge almost all the way down to nothing and still providing 12 volts, not to mention over 5,000 life cycles in this battery. So I'm pretty sure it will last me for the life of this trailer uh, or as long as we own this trailer. So that's pretty, that's pretty good. The second important thing of the system is the 3000 watt Renogy inverter. Uh, I chose 3000 watts because my needs are about 1500 to 2000 watts. However, I believe uh, to always have a little extra and this way uh, I won't put any stress on, let's say, 2000 watt inverter. Uh, 3000 watt inverter will allow me to use it for longer period of time without worrying it for overheating uh, or any kind of breakage. Uh, another important thing is this Rover uh, MPPT solar charge controller. Uh, and those are the three most important parts of the system. I also bought this uh, Renogy shunt right there that allows me to uh, be able to read uh, what's going on with my battery uh, via Bluetooth, via uh, Renogy uh, app on my phone. Uh, I also added the BD-1 right there at the bottom, BD-1 uh, Bluetooth uh, for the rover and that way I can also see in the same app what's going on with my solar uh, panels, uh, how are they charging my battery. So uh, all that is available on my phone. I connect it to a Bluetooth and I can look at the charge controller and it tells me everything I need to know, what it's doing. And then I can check how much battery I have left. Right now I have 84.5%. Gives me all the information about loads and stuff like that. Really useful. I can calibrate different alarms, you know, if battery is low, it will let me know, stuff like that. Really, really easy to navigate. Uh, I think this, this app is, super helpful when camping you can really control 
what you're using you can really control how much power you have and uh, know at every moment of your camping what's going on with your system which is which is really really helpful i think going back to the system here uh, remember when you're building a system to use quality cables quality wires they need to be 100 percent pure copper i know they're a little expensive but by using 100 percent copper uh, you may be sure that they won't uh, overheat they won't melt uh, as long as you use correct size of the wires so i used four odd pure copper uh, wires between the battery and the bus bars and the bus bars and uh, the inverter uh, this way i know they won't overheat and uh, just for the safety i used 400 amp uh, anl fuses both on the line going into the inverter and on the line going from the battery to the main bus bar the bus bars are also rated at 400 amps so i know they won't melt i use six gauge cables between uh, storage charge controller and the bus bars and i used eight gauge cables between uh, the controller and the solar panels again it's for safety it's to make sure that they won't overheat or melt for the wires going out of the inverter i used eight gauge again it's just to make sure that the wires won't melt or overheat so this is my entire system and remember just a uh, simple advice if you're looking for the wire sizes for your system or the breaker or fuses sizes you can go online and you can find charts uh, regarding how big of a wire do you need uh, in, in conjunction with uh, what amperage you will be sending uh, and how long the wire needs to be it's really easy to look up and it's fairly straightforward when you look at those uh, charts so yeah this is my system uh, one more thing i have to say is uh, i bought most of it uh, myself i started with the solar panels they were about 150 bucks a pair i bought them on sale in two different occasions uh, then i was looking for the battery and uh, the inverter and i found out that renogy is looking for uh, influencers and people with youtube channels so i applied and they um, agreed to send me the battery and the inverter for free uh, to test them out uh, in exchange for this video and they asked me to make this video in english therefore it is in english uh, everything else i bought out of my own pocket uh, surprisingly the cables the wiring was uh, fairly expensive because the wiring uh, and the fuses uh, all together was over 800 bucks six feet of four odd cable uh, about 30 feet of uh, eight gauge uh, connecting the inverter with the uh, transfer uh, switch uh, 25 feet of eight gauge connecting solar charge controller with the solar panels uh, and some other miscellaneous items all together over 800 bucks yes copper is expensive but i was able to save money uh, thanks to Renogy uh, and uh, for sending me the battery and the inverter for free uh, and i have to say that Renogy didn't ask me to say anything nice or anything you know they didn't give me any script this is all my opinions this is all my uh, idea of the system and uh, uh, there you go everything here as, as you see is my first time build it was fairly easy to put together uh, and it was pretty much plug and play as soon as, as i connected everything together uh, and turned the solars on it just started working uh, renogy has really good uh, instructions uh, that coming with all their equipment uh, and seriously it was really really easy to put together in my opinion and here is my 20 amp breaker uh, on the line connecting solar panels with the solar charge controller this way i'm able to turn the solar panels on and off if needed so so far we've been camping uh, in pretty cold weather 
uh, using a bunch of electricity uh, for our, our needs for the last three days. Uh, and everything is working just as planned, just as advertised. Uh, I have no complaints. Uh, the lowest the battery went so far was 72%. So I'm pretty sure I have plenty of power uh, left uh, in the battery uh, every night. Uh, no worries anymore uh, of the batteries <laughs> going dead. One thing I have to mention about uh, the lithium iron phosphate batteries is that they don't like to be in a cold environment. They need to be inside uh, because they simply uh, can't be charged uh, when they're cold. Uh, and at a certain point they will stop discharge also this battery has a protection built in uh, therefore to make sure that it always works i placed it inside of this com compartment where it's always warm because there's heating uh, inside of the trailer so i know this battery will charge and discharge no matter the temperature outside because it's always warm in here now I'm going to show you how the panels on top look like. Uh, I used four panels, like I said. Uh, they're just flat on top of the roof. Uh, very simple uh, to put together. Uh, and so far, seriously, Reno G, uh, I have no complaints. Uh, very good contact, very good customer service, mm, very quick shipping, uh, and system was very easy to put together. Good, good quality. So in my opinion, uh definitely good good price to quality uh, ratio so here we go that's my big upgrade for for our trailer i'm super happy uh well we're going to walk around do some camping some boondocking because we are in beautiful middle of nowhere nevada beautiful spot about two hours uh from Las Vegas. And as the trailer, you can see the solar panels there on top a little bit. Seriously, uh, if you're looking for, for a solar system, uh, give a Reno a try. In my opinion, worth the money. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, it's, I know it's short, but uh, uh, I think it's informative. I hope it's informative. Uh, let me know in comments. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy uh, to answer them for you. Uh, and then, like I said, research, YouTube, uh, solar power forums are very informative. A lot of people help me over there because I'm a newbie. This is my first system. Uh, but overall, it was really, really easy to put together. So I'm very, very happy. All right, that's it, guys. Uh, remember, uh, as I always say, don't be a fake, be yourself, because that's important in life. All right, take care, see you later.